Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Animal Well, where the credits rolled, but we're definitely not done, right? So we have a fancy upgraded bubble wand. We have a lantern now, which is definitely going to let us get to some, uh, oops, that's pressing their own buttons over there, doing stuff in my recording software. Um, <clears throat> uh, we have a lantern, which is going to let us get to some new places. We know of some spots where that's going to be useful right away. Uh, and we still have this metal, the silver metal, that I don't know what to do with. Yeah, anyway, so. Let's try to get some stuff done. Uh, the number one, I suppose, most valuable thing is just that, like, there's a bunch of rooms. Okay, like this one right here on the right, the right side. There's a bunch of rooms where there were just, a, like, a lot of ghosts and we couldn't get through them before that we'll be able to get through now. Most of them are probably just going to contain an egg, but like, I don't hate that. That's fine. Um, oh, the room where we couldn't drop down because the uh, the ghost birds were holding us up, that's gonna be available as well. I'm trying to get my bearings real quick here. All right, so the fastest way over to this room that I'm looking at with all the ghosts in it, I think is just gonna be to run. So I guess let's do that. I should probably, um, probably have my bubble wand out. Hello, duck. Okay, so do I want to just, I want to, let's see here. I'm going to keep going across for a little while. Now, this room down here is not marked on our map at all. But that's because it's a dark room, right? Let's take the lantern down there. Does this allow me to... Yes, this allows me to actually fill it in on the map. Which is really nice. Ah. He jump scared by animal well. I kind of can't believe I didn't take damage there. All right, just making sure. All right, I feel like there's nothing else to explore here. But now it's on the map, and that at least is a, is a little blessing for me. All right. So these ghosts are no longer able to harm us. It doesn't look like there's any reason to keep going over to the right. I think we've got all that stuff on lock. Ow. Oh, the ghost is right. For a second there, I couldn't figure out what the source of the, um... Oops. The source of the change was. So... I just want to get out the bottom, right? I mean, what I really want to do is get kind of low down in the room and then yo-yo the spikes off the bottom of the room. Why did I do that? Why did I, why would I press right so much? For whom? To what end? Okay. I did a really clumsy job there, but... We can absolutely make it over to that corner and then obviously uh, do a good job from the corner. Okay. And it looks like I have in fact done that before because this chest was already taken. go use the phone right quick because I'm horribly wounded you know just in case I feel I have a feeling we might need it hey there little friend I mean little friend hey there extremely huge friend uh, actually I need this to be switched Hmm? 
I don't really have easy access to a switch. Ah, shit. But if we climb back up here, we can get the ghost to flip the switch one more time. There must be a switch somewhere, because you have to be able to, to get through these these blocks. It must be the case that if you go down here, there's a switch that you have access to. Yeah, 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 okay. This is certainly going to be a lot easier to mess with. Also, thank you for the fruit. Ah. Okay, then we have to come over here and throw the switch again and maybe not be so lanterned up on this one. Alright, so in this room we wouldn't have had an easy way onto the floor before. sure that we're mapping everything correctly here. All right. That's cool. We are going to need some significant number more eggs if our plan here is to clear all the eggs. And honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it is. We'll keep playing until I feel like I'm out of puzzles, basically. Out of puzzles that I'm interested in. Let me let me specify. Ow. Eat fruit, please. Hmm. <clears throat> it is not too dark to see the map. Okay, this is the way into the room. Oh, that's right. I I did this one with the disc. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. That doesn't really look much like a moon, but all right. Moon egg acquired. I uh, know there's at least a couple of other places where... Yeah, we should, we should probably activate that. Wow, terrible work. Really bad job, me. There's at least a couple of other places where the ghosts, there were ghosts blocking our way, but I think for the most part, um, it's like big stationary ghost walls, not travelers like that. Okay, so while we're here though, I'm just trying to like check the area around us, see if there are any unresolved uh, we know about that chest over there with the spikes. I don't think we picked up anything that's going to make that any easier to get access to. No, I think we're probably good. So, uh, as far as rooms full of ghosts... Is there, is there a gap in the right wall of the well, like way at the top that I don't, that I just totally missed? Looks like there is. I can't remember where that was. Like there, there are places where we were not able to even like touch the floor properly. We were like jumping across platforms, avoiding ghosts. And now I don't remember where, and there's no place obviously on our map that. Huh. All right, well, I do kind of want to check this out. I I know we just we just spent a lot of time falling down this hole over and over again, but um, 
I guess we're probably fast traveling. So I want to end up at the big, uh, the big hole, the big animal well. So we want to take the new, the new head, right? Uh, so come down here. And this should be like a really fast run through now. Is this the fastest way to do this? I actually don't know. It might not be. I'm sure this area is nowhere near as, uh, as haunted as it was, but still, the lantern makes me feel better. I appreciate that that's still descending. Yeah, I don't know. What do you reckon? Like, is there, is there a reason that that ledge is there? What would be the utility of that, do you think? All right, now that I'm no longer under pressure, we can maybe try to figure out what's up with these skulls. Do skulls like music? Um, they don't seem to. So they're facing either directly toward us, to the right or to the left. It's probably not a series of notes. Probably. Probably. Hmm. The texture on the wall back here is kind of strange, right? I guess it's, it's in other parts of the room as well. We do need to um, use these notes to figure out that that rabbit slash duck song. And I guess play it for rabbits and ducks in various locations. This I just might not. I just might not have the tools for, though. We tried smashing it with everything before. Yeah, I don't know. We'll come back. Probably. Did I mark it? I didn't mark it. Let's mark it. Here we are, back to, presumably, our home. There is, of course, the locked door. Yeah, who knows? There's this great big clock, which is obviously something. I mean, is it counting something? It's it, it's weird that it would be weird for whatever it is to um for there to be three things that it might want to count that I have done none of, but I don't know. You know, by this point in the game, you would expect we've done most of the things. This is very curious, but I, yeah, I don't know what to do with it right now. All right, let's see. Whatever it was, it seemed to be quite far to the right. Why did I jump? What is wrong with me? I jumped to like press up against the wall. Um, so I think it, I, mean, I didn't see it. I, did, I just did not see it. As far as I could tell, it wasn't there. And we can see like there is a little, there is a, a slightly different colored line where the glass was. So it must just be one of those things where, like, there's a portion of the wall you can walk through and they don't make that obvious to you. 
frankly, I hate that as an answer. Um, this is probably faster than... Actually, I don't know that. I was going to say faster than teleporting back to the hippo room, since we're already right here, but maybe not. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to do it right, and I'm not going to jump because of my twitchy hands. Probably. It doesn't seem like there's... It, it's super weird that there wouldn't be a fast travel directly to the house. To me, that seems very weird. You know, it feels like um, it feels like it's my base. Shouldn't I be allowed to just hang out in my base? But I guess in like a in like a very real sense, there's not much reason for us to ever be there. Run, little meatball, run! I think it's just, I think it's just fur. My opinion on our protagonist's body is that I think it is entirely made of fur. I'm actually gonna save here so that we can bail out in case I screw this up again. Still weird, still weird stuff. Uh, we have to this and then okay I want to be quite far to the side so nope there is no gap in the wall okay something's going on there don't know what to make of it Apparently that's the deal. You know what? I can make this, we can make this happen right now. Uh, I am going to tab out of the game for just a moment here. I hear you, buddy. We're gonna look at my Steam screenshots. Y'all are not gonna be able to see this, but you will see the brilliant results of our efforts, of my efforts. Uh, show me, how do you, how does one even get to Steam screenshots anymore? You know, these days. I swear there used to be, there used to be like a very easy button for this. Okay, you know what? This is, apparently I'm going to figure this out all over again. You know what I love is when uh, they change the UIs, and they just change all the functionality um, when it was working just fine before. So, okay, here we go. So it's mapping stuff to expressions. I believe the song is going to be up, down, up, down. Left, right, left, right, maybe? Let's try it. My friend, for you I have music. Oh! He turned into a mallard colored rabbit and then ran away. Is that. Is that good? <laughs> Did I... Okay. Well, now that's occurred. That's not what I was going for. <laughs> I don't know what I, I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. It was not that. Okay. Uh... Gosh. Where else? Where else can we do stuff of value? So I was gonna like try to see if we could beat up the kangaroo and see if it would drop a medal, but the kangaroo has gone on a rampage and now is hunting us. 
I still don't know what to do about this ostrich area. The fact is we didn't really gain that many new tools. The lantern lets us do some new stuff. Okay, there's a room where there were birds that were preventing us from touching the bottom of the room. But I, I have no idea where that was. I'm just looking, I'm looking at the map for rooms that don't have a bottom. And really failing to find, which is a little embarrassing. Maybe I could have done this before I started up the recording. Yeah, okay, sure. I could see why you might say a thing like that. Professionalism or whatever. Sure, sure, sure. Uh... Yeah, we still need to hunt down a couple of... Okay, well this, this, this room here doesn't really have a bottom part. But that's probably... The, the way that looks, it looks more to me like there are just some spikes at the bottom of that room, and so I haven't gone down there. As I remember it, it was over top of another room, so it looked like there wasn't a lot of space that we were missing. But it was clear that it was... It was clear that it was enough room for something, and I was pretty sure it was just going to be a chest. And, yeah, I really don't see it. Shoot. This is, like, a, the worst episode of Blue's Clues ever, where y'all are, are looking right at it. Everybody's pointing at it and screaming. And I'm just like, I don't know, Blue. Where could it be? Except that I'm actually as unable to see things as that actor is pretending to be. <laughs> okay, well, I don't, maybe it is this room. You know what? It's not very difficult for us to get there. And my memory is really bad. Famously really, really bad. Uh, this is a little bit more of a challenge to get across, but I guess less so now that we have the the bubble bubble wand. Oops. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, I have, however, created now a spot where I can stand. So maybe it was actually all the plan the whole time. Definitely already been down here. There's nothing of nothing of value anymore, certainly. Okay. Wait, really? There's a tiny chamber down here just for fruit? Okay, weird, but not like a bad thing, just weird. Ah. You know what is a bad thing? My ability to control my jumps. You know what, never mind. I was going to try to get that fruit over there, but why would I do that to myself? So yeah, this room is just... It's just the floor is a spiky place I haven't walked yet, but we do now have the yo-yo and we can solve that. All right, filling in the map. Generally, it's good. Uh, let's hop up here as well. I keep, I keep rotating the wrong direction. The thing is, the bubble wand and the yo-yo are actually right next to each other in the inventory. Uh, but I just always press the wrong direction off of both of them. So there is for sure something up there that we... Frustrating. 
that we wouldn't have had have that wouldn't have had access to first time we were here because we did not have the yo-yo yet. Okay, we'll just do that again. Ugh, annoying. Again, just always the wrong direction. Oh, I don't think there actually is a thing. There's there's space where there could be a little a little gap and there's room for a room behind the gap. But it looks like there yeah, there actually isn't one. Okay, well now we know that. Uh, let's get out of this room so we don't have to listen to this guy make this noise anymore. Okay. And also, fruit. Alright, so that's not anything. Well, while I'm feeling fairly desperate for things to do, I feel like at this point we've tried almost all of the round indentations for our metal, so let's go to... There's the one near the start that we haven't tried it in yet. The hell was that? Here it is. It's marked with a circle. It's like, how, how am I still missing it? Okay, so we want the bottom left face. The spooky rabbit that seems like it wants to eat you. We are almost finished with our uh, with our candle lighting, but unfortunately, we don't have the last lamp. This is a locked door, right? It looks like a locked door instead of a traditional wall. There's not a lot of room for stuff behind it. It definitely seems like it should be prompting me for a key, though, doesn't it? Huh. All right. We are being exhaustive. We are trying all of the things on all of the things. Is that a solid wall over there? Yeah, it looks like a solid wall. All right. Mighty worm, accept my metal. I guess it's a stick. It does have a tongue sticking out. It kind of looks like it's... You can see how I might think worm, because it kind of looks like it's segmented, but I think it's just supposed to be a stripey... Okay, and this is the place for this. Maybe it's the snake metal? Were there snake statues in the room we got? We got it from behind a giant chameleon iguana boss, right? It must have been a chameleon, because of the tongue. I, I don't know. Whatever. The important thing is, hey, look, it fits. Okay. This is a new room. And it is above another new room. Red. And that is above a further new room. I'm going to perform some quick lantern surgery here just to have a look around, making sure there's no secrets. Uh, I guess maybe there's a switch down here. Oh, howdy, snake. You are coming up here to do something unpleasant, I assume. Well, I definitely want to know what's in that chest. There might be a switch. I went down on the I went down that screen theorizing that there might be a switch. And perhaps, perhaps. But what if we just bubbled? I started really low because of those hanging plants there. Um, but we can do a lot of bubble jumping to get through a lot of this. It is a much safer and easier thing to do now that we have the multi-bubble wand, but also it encourages me to do the safest jumps possible, which doesn't really... We don't cover as much distance this way. Really? I can't fit into that? Okay, there we go. Okay, so from here it should be no problem to grab that chest. She said, setting herself up for failure. I guess there are hanging plants here, so, like, it's 
It actually, it actually gets pretty high up. Okay, if I, I get on you, I think I can make this work. But I'm so worried about screwing up in a way that makes me fall back to the previous screen. All right, ice egg, cool. Uh, the ladder on the left side of the screen goes to somewhere, somewhere I don't know where. Let's fix that. Things aren't allowed to be that way. Not anymore. Is this going to push me? It is. Okay, everything's fine. Ah. You know, it is actually probably the case that the best way over there... Okay, that's spikes, right? That's ghosts. Oh, oh right, right. It doesn't... Falling into ghosts doesn't immediately reset you. You just, you live down there now in the ghosts, which I forgot about. All right. Actually, this isn't how I want to do this. Even if we are going left, I want to do my takeoff from here. Okay. Okay. Not useful until we hit the switch. And then it's just on that screen. Hey, when did I last save? Uh, let's equip our lantern and hug the wall here. Are we saved in the house right now? I guess I'm pretty close to, um, I'm pretty close to a teleport statue. It won't take us very long to run back here if I die. That's very fun. So, okay, we can try to get the snake to run into itself and that, and in so doing, kill it. And that is funny to do. But also, the snake could be a great and powerful friend if we can figure out how to use them to make stairs. I should probably just be bubble wanding, honestly. The snake destroys the bubbles, which is a little inconvenient. But he also provides a good starting place for bubbles. Okay. Hummingbirds, so no more bubbles here. That is a non-egg chest, I think. Right, the yellow ones. Maybe this is the last match. Found the remote. Oh! For the TV, uh, one presumes. Aha, we have simply added another... Uh... <gasps> oh, that's actually incredibly useful. Okay, so now we can swap the blocks anytime. That's really quite huge. Okay, all of the walls and everything of these of these chambers do look solid. But I bet this also does something in the TV room. So, there is a there's a really high up top left exit here. Uh, let me let me get my bubble wand out. We'll wait for the wait for the snake up here and use him to commit uh, commit bubbles. You coward. How dare you. How dare you violate our sacred compact in this way. Ah! Come down here and give me stairs back up to the back up to the high ground at least. I screwed that up.
Oh. Huh. There are four buttons for activating this, and I don't know where they are. That does look like it's just an egg. Just an egg. Um... There are four yellow fruits in the room. Oh! We can pause the snake! That's amazing. Oh, and actually, okay, I can directly control the snake. That's better than being able to pause the snake. They are really making this remote something fantastic. Yep. That is so good. That is so good. Okay. Ah, but I can't... If I move at all when the snake is in pause mode, it starts moving again, which is like... Yeah, it actually is kind of hard to use the snake as a... I was like, I can just make him a staircase. Ow. I can just use the pause functionality to make him a staircase and then leave. But actually, it's a little harder to do than it seems like it's going to be. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. This redoubles my resolve to get that... To do battle with that kangaroo, but... Now we just have to figure out how to know where he's going to be. Or just walk around prepared all of the time. What? I... That snake should have been paused. I can't believe this. Alright, go get... Go get some delicious fruits. This is very cute. Alright. Now resume normal behavior because I have to use you as a platform. Or have too strong. Want to, though. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. The iridescent egg. Alright, now let's get the hell out of here. Which is also going to be a fun challenge. Okay, the map does not indicate that there is any reason I would want to go down into the little water gap. <gasps> what a bad... What a bad bubble I have done. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I was I knew that I knew that what last one wasn't quite high enough. But I hadn't left myself enough horizontal room to make another. Very unfortunate. That's good. There we go. What am I doing? Why am I climbing out of this area manually? Why, why am I not just teleporting? Uh, let's go ahead and erase this from the map. And I guess I'm going to... So we, I know a couple of things I want to do with this remote immediately. What is the best way to get to this point? I guess the answer is just fall down the big well. Yeah, so to the hippo head once more. I wonder if there was any actual utility to turning that duck into a rabbit. I got an achievement for it. But that, you know, obviously that doesn't necessarily mean like it's a thing to be rewarded. Very, very curious. If this remote is going to do anything at the television. It's got to, right? It's so it's such an obvious thing. It's very clever of them though to have um to have there be to, to make it look like there's only space for 12 items and then it turns out actually you have more than that. Hey, let's see if the remote has any effect on the skulls. 
I don't expect that it will, but every time we get a new tool, we're taking it in here. Hey, these are different. It's also interesting that like the remote makes the chests glow red. I don't know why that why that is like that. Yeah, this is weird. The buildup of the skulls is for sure different from the last time we were in here, and I don't know why. There's something I'm doing out there in the world that's affecting it. That's tricky. I mean, that could be... That could be any number of things. Alright. Whoa. Frowny face. Oh, it's a song. It's trying to teach me a song. Okay, hold on. Sorry. I need this again. Okay, so it's... Also, maybe like a notepad. I need to type stuff. Okay. Uh, so... It's that face which is, according to the wall, um, if all of the smiley faces are directly across from all the frowny faces with the same eyes, this is an upright, then up left. This is so cool. Uh, down left. Down right. Uh, vertical eyes, frowny face is up. That's left. That's down, and then I'm guessing the other one is probably right. Hey, what a surprise. And then that's the other, that's the only one. Okay, so I will just try it right here. I will save and then I will just try it right here. <laughs> so up, left, down, right. I have summoned the TV rabbit. Uh, okay. It, it sure didn't unlock this door. Let me do it again. Okay. Up right, up left, down left, down right, up left, down right. It only worked once. If we leave the screen and come back. Yeah, seems like it only works once. Well, that's curious. Uh, I wasn't so distracted that I was missing. No, this doesn't open the door. Okay. Any effect on the clock? No effect on the clock. Any effect on this thing? No effect on this thing. Something tells me we're gonna need an item that is altogether much weirder. No effect on weird bird. Excuse me. Okay. So. That's a little higher than I thought it was. Aha! Okay. Yep, it is absolutely one. It's just one of those, and the problem is that I wasn't. I tried to disengage too high. Or too low, rather. Okay, so we want to push down here. Let me equip this. Alright, and then on this screen... No, I got this already. I, okay, I was gonna make a whole thing about grabbing that, but we uh, don't have to. I should probably remove that from the map. Nope, didn't do that right. 
There we go. Um, it does not reverse platforms. Good to know. Ah! Asshole. Okay, well. Where else have we not been able to get to? So this is a this this room way on the left here is a fake. We have been able to get there. We still can't actually reverse the direction of the platforms up here. That's gonna prevent us from getting into there. We've been up that ladder, but it leads to a dark room and that that leads to some I mean I guess we could fix that, right? I could I could map that, but that's not a high priority because it's it's a low value spot, it's just dark. Apparently there's a chest up here that I don't know how we don't have. I'm sure it's a good reason. I'm gonna pour over the map looking for that um, that room where we weren't able to fall to the bottom because the owls Oh here it is. Right here. So yeah, let's um let's work back. Top right face. And fix that. I keep starting with left instead of right. Wait, did I say top right? Top right's the bird. It's not top right, it's it's bottom right. I probably did say bottom right, and then got myself all turned around. Okay, so I just want to cross left, which is going to be a lot easier to do with the lantern because now we can manipulate these birds in a way we couldn't before. Except I can't make that jump, so I still need to... Yeah, let me... Let me let these ghosts cycle a little bit. Alright, when this one's gone, we will... Ow, what? Oh, I caught... Didn't even occur to me that that thing might act as a blocker for the other ghosts. Okay, well, you can keep them off my back while I do this. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Alright, so it's this screen. This is the screen I couldn't I couldn't fall off the bottom of. And indeed. An egg awaits. Cool. The sapphire egg. The floor here looks a little weird. Nope. I guess there's no room for there to be anything down there. Uh, is there any reason to be down here aside from this? I don't really think so. Uh, that, the room that's on the right side of the screen right now that has an open spot in the bottom left, that's where those platforms are coming from or going to, depending on which way you have the dog running. Uh, we cannot access that for reasons of not being able to get past the platforms. They, they fill up the whole vertical gap. So that's still going to be inaccessible. Yeah, I guess let's go see what the deal is with this chest because I don't remember this chest and it might be, um, it might be a bad or an old marking that I need to fix. So, all right, I did it right that time. Uh, up, up left or no, the other bear. I wish there weren't two different bears. Honestly, maybe they're not supposed to be both be bears. What do I know about animals? And the shapes of their various heads. Uh, I guess we can clear this. Uh, this is a stamp. Yeah, that's, that's dealt with. 
So I want to go. Okay, let's go to the phone. And then from here, down and left. Probably a little bit more down than that. How much more down? Uh, actually, less down. I was wrong. It is in that room up there. Hey, sleep. Ow. Well, I did extremely do that to myself. That's that's embarrassing. Did I never get access to this? I, I guess I must not have. Um, all right, it's fine. Okay, so I need to... I figured out I can get myself up there. I need you to get down here. Okay, just park on that. And then I can get myself up here with the bubble wand. Ah! Squish myself a little bit. Uh, no, create a bubble like a little bit more. Yeah, like this. Then <clears throat> bubble like this. Alright, and then ah. There has to be enough room to the left for me to jump up and get on the bubble. Oh, that's a shame. It's weird how it, um, when I get on, it sometimes causes the door to be able to drop for a second again. That shouldn't be happening. I tried shooting an extra bubble there to, to hold it, but... Okay, that worked. Alright, so is there a... There's not a chest over here. Yeah, I think this is just a bad... I think this is a marking I didn't delete. Yeah, seems like. Okay. Uh, well then, let's get rid of that. This is bad stewardship of the map. Do I think we're getting extra gameplay? anything interesting out of being in control of marking our own map instead of having the game auto mark the map like it probably should honestly no i don't i don't really think it is valuable i again i think it's just a thing that they're doing because hollow knight did it and people like hollow knight a lot to the point where they just kind of assume that they should do things the way hollow knight does them all right so what else do we still have we still have the kangaroo thing, and presumably a medal to be earned from the kangaroo. We still have this other spot where there's space for a medal that has to do with fish. But I have found no place to get a fish medal. Maybe in the places where there are, where the fish are spitting at you, maybe those fish can be defeated in some way? Because we got the, we got the, well, we got the snake medal from defeating a giant chameleon. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm taking this too straightforwardly. The fish medal would not necessarily come from a fish, nor the kangaroo medal necessarily from a kangaroo. But I am thinking now that like, it sure looks like an awful lot of our map is filled in. And I'm not sure what other big moves there are to make here. We might be able to reach some new locations in some places with the power of the remote. The remote seems very useful. And there are at least a couple of spots where we still don't know how to get somewhere. I wonder if the, um, if the blocks with my face on them in this area would be responsive to the remote. 
they look like they're on the chains. It looks like whatever you have to do to get the other blocks on chains going in the ostrich area, it probably will affect that. Probably. Yeah, and then there's still a couple of things like this, where there's a room up at the top here that uh, all of our fancy new tools simply don't give us a way into. There's just like a, a little tall vertical gap that's completely filled with weeds. Hmm. And there's still a match and still an unlit candle somewhere, and that's probably blocking something. We're definitely not done. Let me try to get over here real quick. Okay, so we want... We do actually want top left this time. Ah. And I do think I want to fall down, but I want to not get caught by this dog. Uh, I guess falling down is not totally necessary. So what I'm thinking is it looks like there's a gap in the ceiling of the long water room that might actually be enterable. And maybe that's the way up into whatever's up there. Falling down here is actually not super helpful. But also, at the same time, I think we'll be okay. What am I doing? Go get it. Yeah, pay attention to that instead of me. Go get it. Good dog. It is nice to, like, just make an animal, like, make friends with an animal a little bit, you know? Not that that dog and I are the best of, of friends or anything, but... We at least don't have to be killing each other. This is probably worth a save. So... Is that actually a gap? I think it could be. It could be real. So I'm gonna go, like, let's go for a bubble setup here. Darn it. I can't, right, I can't jump off the bubble. It won't be there again. So if we're gonna do a jumping setup, I have to be closer to the wall. I don't think I'm high enough. Maybe. No, not quite. But that's, you know, that's the idea. I think that's gonna work. Okay, hitting that button doesn't do anything here. I didn't think that it would, and we already have the way to move that block, but. Huh. Can I just jump right up here? There's absolutely something to that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely there is. Um, unfortunately, what we don't know is how high up you have to go to get to ground. It seems like it's probably more than my jump height. So this is like an area where you're meant to fall down. And I don't think that's the case with this, uh, with this other thing. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That's curious. Do you think... No, oh, um... Because I can kind of throw it upwards. Alright, whatever. Okay, something new. Also, big fruit. So this will be the way to fall down there. Yeah, I'm going to throw the top. I was, I was hoping throwing the top was going to illuminate it a little bit better. I just, I wanted to draw the passage in on the map. I don't actually want to go down there. Um, hey, you, stop. Okay. So this requires a way to traverse these spikes. I guess, I, you know what? The way to traverse the spikes that this requires is probably just this. Oh, that's a good point. Um, if I, if I throw the, hmm, I don't think so. I, I don't think I can just throw it and jump onto it. Um, if I jump from this height, yeah, there's, there's no short jump available to, like, you always jump the same height no matter what, which is a problem we've had in the past. 
So I can't like jump up on this and set up bubbles and, and do like a bubble walk. These are not the kind of spikes that are harmed by this thing. It doesn't look like this room connects to the space at the top left of that other room, does it? Uh, okay. Does the remote do anything here? It doesn't. Or here. Honestly, that looks like the bottom half of one of those, like, fan whale blocks. It's really interesting that there's a there's a phone here. I guess it, whatever you do here it must still be very dangerous. It's still, it must it's still be difficult. Yeah, looking at our assortment of tools, this is the second place where it seems like there just has to be a way to travel across spikes. Without a uh, without a friendly chinchilla, obviously. Some kind of weird late game accessible traversal tool that we don't have yet. Okay, well if that's the case, then I think we are just gonna go ahead and use this thing. That'll fill it in on the map. Darn it. Uh, almost. There we go. I'm pleased that I saw that, though. That's that's cool. And I'm confident I can get us back up there. If getting a, getting back up there becomes the thing we need to do. I guess we'll take... Before we finish the episode here. Oh, wrong thing equipped. Let's take a quick look at this space as well. Ah... Uh, if you're wondering if I advised Charles Martinet, if I if I helped him make acting choices for Mario based on my real life reactions to things, uh, yes, obviously the answer is yes. Mario is heavily based on me. Uh, if I am left to stand by myself for more than like five or ten minutes, I do um, fall asleep and start talking in my sleep about uh, spaghetti and linguine. It's all real, kids. It's all real. Okay, so. Now that I'm a little bit more familiar, I didn't realize this this room is actually not that difficult. So we can... Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe the top will work here? No, because the top won't drop in, right? The top will just skip across that? Yeah, it sure will. Any way that I could, there's, there, no, right? I'm not gonna be able to drop this here and then make it, yeah, not even close. You can set the top down like against a wall, right? I think we've seen it in the past. I'm wondering if I can put something on this to prevent it from closing all the way. We don't really have a lot of stuff that we can put down. But I can put Slink down. But Slink could just get crushed, right? Like, if I went down here... Yes, Slink would just get crushed out of existence. Hmm. I wonder if, let me try this. We might be able to get up there without, like the chest and, and the, uh, the access are two different puzzles, right? Yeah, this is different. This is also just an egg though. And I was right, it is the bottom of one of those whale blocks. Uh, so if I just rem remote this, because it's all switches. 
Okay, the remotes flip blocks. They don't even flip these blocks. That's really interesting. Uh, okay, so this is going to be throwing you through there. And then I'm using Slink to do stuff. And I must have gone right past Slink. There he is. This is cool. <laughs> the standard reference egg, of course. It had to be somewhere. That's very cute. That's very cute. Uh, it is not super clear to me how to get this other egg. I mean, I'm not going to be able to... Hmm. So yeah, that's the closest we could get. It's yeah, it's not even it's not even particularly close. How would I put Slink down such that I would have a longer amount of time to make this move? Or or how would I do this in some other way, right? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Wow, little dude falls asleep quick. Really doing his level best to make me feel like I'm taking forever here. Which, as you can tell from my reaction, is something I'm very insecure about already. So it feels sort of, sort of mean to take advantage of that. Hmm... Well, let's mark it, I guess. Uh, we don't have to solve this right now. Hopefully I, will remove to, hopefully I will remember to remove the marking if we do get it. If Slink is laying on the ground, I can't jog him with, like, this, can I? No. What about the top? Notice that in the way I speak, Slink is a full-fledged uh, person with gender and agency. I believe very strongly in Slink. Yeah. Hmm. So it doesn't affect all the blocks. It's just some of the blocks with the remote. That's interesting. I don't. It's not like relevant, but interesting. Hey, here's a question. What if I do this, and then I raise the end of the block? That'll that'll roll him down the stairs, right? Oh, that's fun. That's a clever puzzle. That is exactly the kind of thing that I love about this game. Just the the figure it out how to use it thing. This is weird, right? These are like arcanoid blocks. This is not the only place we've seen these. The um one of the one of the side rooms has them too, and I thought they were weird there. They're not blocks to throw the top at. Oh. Huh. How are you supposed to tell What does this even do? I honestly don't know. I, I'm confident I've I've thrown the block at them. Or the, the top at them. Hmm, they don't react to the remote. We could drop Slink on the button, but it doesn't like really do anything, right? I just, okay. We have another new weird problem, and I don't remember exactly where that other room that we saw those blocks was, but um, I guess let's, I guess let's hit him with the question mark. 
There's something about these that is weird. And if we can figure out how to break them, we have an elevator that goes up directly into them for some reason. And while there's not a lot of room for there to be a room up there, there could be a room at the bottom of the map, right? And it's just, it just vertical wraps. Okay. All right. We still have some things left to figure out. Overall, though, I think this has been productive. I think I'm going to call it right here. I think that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you return next time, there are mysteries yet to uh, there are mysteries yet to to answer. My guess is there are probably still some mysteries yet to uncover as well. And we're going to do our level best at both. And we'll see you then.